morning, everybody. For those of you who haven't met, I'm Todd Souza, the Director of Community Service for the Town of Scarborough. Welcome to the House of Lights. It's been the present home of community service since October of 2020, as we've been serving hybrid care for over 80 students a week. The facility came about as trying to support parents and students with hybrid care. We've been here operating uh, five days a week uh, since the beginning of October. We provide hybrid care to uh, just over 80 students, seven in the morning until six at night. Uh, the majority of that time in the morning throughout the afternoon is supporting their school learning um, with different remote classes that their teachers are instructing, um, but also um, doing enrichment programs. Uh, throughout the day, they're having activities, um, crafts, and they're getting some socialization that they sorely miss. I'd love to give you a tour of the place and see what we've been doing during that time. So let's go. Just wanted to show you one of our spaces downstairs. This is a typical space we've had here. You can see the students behind us. They're having snacks. They are you know, having some enrichment time. We've been doing this operation since October. It's allowed for us to provide this service for parents and help the students. Let's go check out some other spaces. As you can see behind me, there is uh, quite a few programming opportunities going on. And this, this facility provides us different opportunities and different spaces to run numerous things at the same time. During the upcoming FY22 budget, community services goal is to extend our lease for one more year. Our major goal is twofold. Uh, one is to be able to bring back programs that we previously had, which are going to be challenged by use of private spaces, which are no longer existing for us, uh, and some may not come back. Uh, but then two, allow us to be able to program in spaces and activities that we've never had, uh, especially for the three groups that I think have been hardest hit by the pandemic. Uh, seniors, stay-at-home parents, and teens. And so this daytime programming space will allow us to do those new programming, um, increase senior programming, uh, stay-at-home parent groups, uh, teen activities, um, and the list goes on and on. And it'll provide us an opportunity to serve those user groups. This would be where we envision our preschool program for four and five-year-olds, uh, more of an enrichment class uh, and not, um, not school in a sense. Um, where this would be their dedicated space. Uh, the space would be redesigned uh, for that age group uh, for appropriate uh, activities. So right now we're in our warehouse. We've been using it as a multi-purpose gymnasium room. As you can see, um, provides a lot of opportunities for the kiddos that are here now. We see the uh, role of this area expanding. Um, we see this as a place where we can hold fitness classes, where we can hold meals. We probably can get 12 to uh, 14 tables in here for seating. We see this as a place for our after-school program for teens, um, dances, events, uh, teen nights. Um, and so uh, this space will be able to function um, in a lot of different ways to support programming. In the schedule that I presented, um, we talked about different activities that would take place in here, uh, such as setting up uh, cornhole or ping pong, senior fitness classes. All that could take place right here and really the sky's the limit for the space. So right now we're on the second floor of the House of Lights. Um, and this area is, as you can see, staff areas. We have six employees that are in this area. Uh, and then we have three office space behind us. Um, one of the efficiencies we have learned is all being in the one space. We've reduced part-time staff, we've been able to cover for each other, and we've also learned each other's roles. Um, so I think that's a benefit moving forward, having us all together in one space. I just want to say thank you for taking this tour with us and the opportunity to kind of share what we've been doing and what we're hoping to do. Um, we re feel really fortunate to be here. We're looking forward to the opportunity to work through this process and potentially uh, increase our services to you, the residents of Scarborough. Uh, again, especially in the areas of seniors, stay-at-home parents, and teens. Uh, this is the piece we've been looking forward to. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out. I'd be happy to, to chat with anybody. But again, thanks for taking the time to be in with us today.